Welcome to CSL TV. <clears throat> and I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, we about to get into some news. Of course, this shit's going to be wicked. But before I get into that goodness, subscribe to the channel. The best thing about subscribing to the channel is you'll be doing a good deed by helping me out. And it's free. Like the video, comment down below what made you watch CSL TV because the feedback helped me create content and bring to you guys many different ways. And I'm a, um, <laughs> I can't even think right now. But this channel basically is a review and reaction channel as well as an information channel. And you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what I do over here. Um, I'm not gonna hold y'all too much on this intro. So have a beautiful blessed day. Let's get it. Before we go any further, know this video may be upsetting. It shows why a manhunt is underway right now. It's from over the weekend in New York City, and it shows a man walk up to a sleeping homeless man in Lower Manhattan. Watch as he paces by at first, then looks around to see if anybody's watching. He kicks the sleeping man several times before finally pulling out a gun and fatally shooting him point blank. And then there's this video from Sunday night. <laughs> It shows another homeless man in New York yelling after being shot in the arm. Thankfully, he survived. Police think this and three other recent shootings of homeless people here in DC have all been done by the same lone gunman. They're looking for this man who police say has carried out at least five shootings across the two cities, leaving two people dead. Being homeless should not turn into a homicide and I want to catch this guy bad. A neighbor had this to say about the man killed in that first video we showed you. He's just so nice and sweet and outgoing and um, kind. Now this right here is very sickening. Um, shouldn't leave your drink around anyway, but at the same time, if he's a janitor and supposed to be doing things a certain way, you would hope he wouldn't be the one doing that. But apparently he got caught doing some dirty, grimy, slimy, nasty. Mm, you know what I want to say, but I'm trying to not curse so much. But, uh, yeah, he gave these women STDs and all type of nasty stuff. So, um, watch your drinks. Watch where you have your stuff at. For the simple fact, you have nasty people out here as such as, as, such as this janitor guy. So as we get into this next video, New York biggest enemy is the rats. And I feel like if they got a rat problem, God damn it, that's a blessing because now they can take these rats, find out all type of cures. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that's how they do it anyway. So, hmm, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, they got a rodent problem. They only gonna have trash out from certain time of the day. And they think that's going to help? Shit, I didn't even know they let out trash out on the ground like that, let alone say they have a problem with rats. Hell, capture these rats. Test things out. Ain't that's how they do it? Like, you know, they say this is how they show us through movies and stuff like that. So, problem solved. Catch them. Test them for different cures, all that. And we good. It's spooky season, and here's something you'll see only this time of year. 
That is a woman stealing a 14-foot tall skeleton from someone's yard over the weekend. At first, it looks like she's just checking it out. But before you know it, the woman is trying to shove it in the back of her SUV. And now neighbors have a bone to pick. It is just a Halloween decoration, but somebody invaded our space and they took your property and that's not okay with me. Now the skeleton's owner is a single mom and the community is rallying together to help find whoever stole it. And they're also offering a $50 reward for its return. A grizzly bear mauled two college wrestlers in Wyoming. Now, these two sophomores, Brady and Kendall, were out antler hunting with their teammates when they were attacked by a grizzly. It was a big bear, looked scary, mean, teeth, drooling, <laughs> breath stained, bit me on the arm and shook me around, threw me. Kendall then used his body to help his friend and distract the bear. That's when it got my head and she kind of tackled me and chewed me up a little bit. And then when it was done, it wandered off. Now Brady ran to their other teammates and called 911. One was airlifted to the hospital and the other was taken by ambulance to undergo surgery. Wyoming officials are investigating the attack, but say up to 10 bears could be in the area where the students were hurt. Good news though, they're both expected to make full recoveries now. Now this is real sad. I wonder why they fired the guy and then tried to offer him his job back. But uh, he had Down syndrome. He was working there for 20 years and they fired him because he couldn't do the job of a normal person now. I wonder when did it dawn on these folks that he couldn't do the job like a normal person but then you say what well, is a normal person because he have organs he have eyes he have a nose he have ears he lips limbs fingers toes i mean shit that seemed like a normal person to me so maybe he's a little slower than others or not as fast and productive or whatever they want to call it when they're trying to compare a human uh, well, I should say a living thing when we are created differently, you know what I'm saying?